linking your Surfshark account with Google or Apple got easier. The Surfshark browser extension got a small yet big quality of life feature, and this iOS update will adapt to your habits. Let's discuss. Guys, if you're looking for a VPN, remember to always check the first link in the description of our videos. There you'll find a coupon code called SharkTube, which will give you two extra months when buying Surfshark VPN. Hello guys, and welcome to Surfshark Academy, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest Surfshark news, updates and discussion. Plus we post various tech related content on our shorts and other videos, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. First things first, in case you didn't know, Surfshark turned five years old this month. Yeah, five years, it's a really long time and Surfshark has had quite a journey. If you have any favorite memories with Surfshark, especially if you've been a customer for a while, then make sure to put them in the comments below. But now let's get into the latest Surfshark app news, starting with a neat feature for linking your Google or Apple account to Surfshark. As you may remember, a little while ago, Surfshark added the ability to log in with Google or Apple accounts, but it only worked if your Surfshark email matched together with your Apple or Google email. Well, now with this update, you can link your Surfshark email with Google or Apple, even if they don't match together. That can be done from the Surfshark My Account page in the linked accounts section. Also, now the app will suggest whether or not you want to link your Google or Apple account with Surfshark when creating an account from the app, which makes it a bit more convenient than having to link it afterwards. This currently works with Windows, Android, and iOS, with macOS coming soon. Speaking of coming soon, well, actually you can already try this if you're on Google Chrome, the Surfshark browser extension will now give you a suggestion to add the website you're currently on to the bypasser list when disabling clean web. Of course, there are websites that just refuse to work with adblock enabled. I personally really hate those websites, if you must know. However, with bypasser, I can still enjoy these websites while blocking ads on other websites, which is really nice. Small update, but maybe more of a reminder than anything that websites can be bypassed with clean web as well. Next up, Surfshark iOS app has gotten a sweet update recently. Version 3.10 has implemented a new location prefetching algorithm. That sounds really fancy, but what does that mean? Well, from what devs told me, it basically means that you should see like a connection time speed up when connecting. So that will mean that when you first click on a location to connect to, it will be just a tiny bit faster. Let me know in the comments if you notice a difference after this update. This version also improved the login flow, making it easier to log in. And last but not least, it improved iOS 16 shortcut integration with Siri. So now Siri will actually suggest you to connect to the VPN based on your habits, which Sounds kind of freaky actually, but this can happen in the suggestion widget or when you're searching for something on your phone. We have made a whole video about iOS 16 shortcut implementation with Surfshark, and yeah, I'm a huge fan of them. And I wish that Android would implement something similar, at least on Google Pixel phones, sometime in the future. Let's now go over to our community poll of the week. As you guys know, we do various community polls on our YouTube channel related to Surfshark technology and online security. Now, this poll is interesting because I was wondering what's worse, slow computer or slow internet? And check this out. Over 60% of you said that slow internet is actually worse, to which, I have to agree, over at my parents' house, I have my old PC there with pretty outdated components, but the internet is horrible there. So this poll question was something that I experienced firsthand and without a doubt, slow internet is worse. But if you have any other thoughts about that, put them in the comments. And yeah, I just thought it was an interesting poll to do. We release them daily, so don't forget to vote and let us know what you think. Finally, I want to introduce a new segment to our monthly update videos, and that is comment of the day. It's simple, I'll pick a comment from our last Surfshark update video and feature it here. Today, it's a comment from Simon commenting about why can't the webcam protection feature on Surfshark be used without installing the antivirus component. This is a totally valid point. However, after talking with the Surfshark devs, they did state that they will look into it. Right now, the webcam protection feature is just part of the antivirus suite, so that's why it's bundled there. That being said, I do agree that having this feature work without the antivirus would be a really nice option. It would just provide more flexibility for more users. But that'll be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a giant thumbs up, and check out more of our content right over here. But that'll be all for me. Take care.